Hey, my name is Christine Holland. I'm the online business manager and lead trainer with Christine Holland Associates. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the tabs that are located on the left hand side of your Facebook business page. I'm going to show you how you can add or remove some of those tabs and then how you can rearrange the order of those. And the first thing I want to talk about is that uh, the template you have chosen, the template design that you've chosen for your Facebook page will determine the default tabs that are established or set up and turned on for your page. Uh, some of those tabs cannot be removed. For example, about offers, community, sorry, not offers, about community and uh, ads. So some of them for example, the three I mentioned, cannot be removed, but you can change the order. And others like reviews, services, groups, they can be turned on uh, or appear visible on your left-hand side menu called the tabs, uh, page tabs. So here we go. You're going to move to your Facebook business page. Once you get to your business page, you're gonna locate the option or the command called settings. It's located in the top right-hand corner on the gray bar at the top, the menu bar. When you click on settings, it's going to open up for you the page settings window. There's going to be a list of commands on the left-hand side, and then on the right, we see the subcommands for that heading or section. What I'd like you to do is locate on the left-hand side the command or the setting called templates and tabs. Now, some of you may still have an older version of uh, template design, so, or Facebook page design. So your command, you may not see templates and designs or templates and tabs. What you will see is something called edit page info, okay? So you can click on that to get to the same place I am if you do not see templates and tabs. So once you click on templates and tabs, it opens up the right hand side menu selection with the heading called templates and tabs, where you can then configure the actions and the tabs for your page. The first thing that I'll point out is that it'll list for you the template, the current template that has been applied to your page. Um, so for many people, if you're page is relatively old and I'm talking maybe like two years or more, it's probably going to be called standard unless you specifically chose something. It would be called standard. I'm recommending um, for myself and for the clients that I work with, I like to recommend the services template. It gives the most options that I find that allow you to really optimize and be found in search engine results. So if you're interested in changing your template design, if you want to see what template designs are there, of course, it's very specific to what your business services and offerings are, you can click on the edit button located beside current template. When you click on the edit button, it'll show you the different templates that you can choose. And each one of those comes with different buttons and different tabs. So services is what I have selected. Uh, it is the current for myself. Yours may be different. If you scroll down the list and you find one that you may be interested in checking out or trying, you can click on the view details button. So in this example, I'm just going to scroll down find venues and click on the view details button. When I click on the view details button, I can then see what the page would look like at the top. It has buttons on the toolbar called like, unlike, follow, share, and save. And then it has tabs down the left hand side that include home events reviews about videos photos posts jobs community info and ads so again each time that you click on one of these templates you can view the details of the template if you like the settings that that template has and it fits the business service and products that you offer you can then choose the apply template button I'm happy with the template design that I have, so I'm just going to close here. But you go ahead, take a couple of minutes, and look at the various options, and decide if that's the one you want to keep or choose. Once you've decided on your design, or template, you'll scroll down and look at the tabs that are currently visible, okay? And again, there are tabs that you cannot remove, and tabs that you not cannot move either, change the order. So home is a tab that cannot be removed. And 
and uh, about is also one of those that cannot be removed. Uh, you'll also see, for example, beside home, there is a little, I often refer to this as the menu button. It's got the three lines. When you rest your mouse pointer on that, it allows you to drag and drop that tab to change the order of the tabs. And when you drag and drop, it automatically will update when you close out of here and go back to your regular page view. So those, that is how you can change the order, dragging and dropping by clicking and holding on that three little lines, the little menu button. Now, the other thing you can do is that you can click on the settings button located beside the events, uh, beside the tab name, sorry, in this case, I'm looking at events. You can click on the settings button and then it'll show you a few additional options. If the tab can be turned off or removed from the being visible, then you will see the on off button here, okay? And uh, so that's one thing you can do to turn on or off tabs that you do not want visible. The other thing that I'll point out is that each tab or place on your Facebook business page has a specific URL, has a specific link where you can take people directly to that spot. So I happen to host a lot of training events, training workshops. So I often share a link to go directly to my event tab, which shows the calendar to my potential clients or to my current clients. So if you're ever looking to copy a specific link to a space or uh, place on your uh, Facebook page, you can always find the URL located here in this section. I will also point out to you a quicker and faster way to get to that URL is simply by going to that spot in your page uh, and then clicking on it and then copying the URL from the top up here. Okay, both of those are gonna give you the same, the same results. So that is how you can move as well as how you can uh, turn on or off some of those tabs that may be available for you to turn on or off. So I want to take you down now on my uh, tab list and just show you community. Click on settings for community. You'll notice there's no turn on or off option here. As I mentioned earlier, some of the tabs are set as default and must be visible. So community is one of those tabs. Okay, so I'll just close that. If you would like to add a tab, that you see currently is not visible. <clears throat> For example, I recommend that you turn on the reviews tab that gives your audience, your fans, your followers, your clients, an opportunity to leave you a review uh, on your Facebook page. Uh, if that's not all, uh, already visible, I recommend you turn that on. And if there's any other tabs you want to turn on, I recommend that you turn those on and this is how you do that. I am going to turn on the groups tab right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add a tab. When I click on add a tab, it shows me all the tabs that are available for me to add based on the template again I've chosen. I'm gonna go ahead and find groups and click add a tab. When I click add a tab, it no longer appears on this list. I will click close. And then my groups button will appear on the list. And I can change the order of it, putting it wherever I'd like that to go. Now, what is the groups tab? Why would you wanna make that visible? If your business page is linked to or is associated with a group, like a VIP client group, like a VIP team group, like a VIP networking group, some kind of group where you're actually taking people and funneling them down a path, from your page to your group. It's a great idea to link the group here and then have it visible on your Facebook page in the group section. So I've added the group heading. Now, uh, there's no save button here. Once you make the changes, they automatically happen. Now I'm just gonna go back and click on page. When I click on page, it's going to take me back to my home page. And on the left-hand side, I can see home, about, events, reviews, okay? And um, I can see that I've added group here. It wasn't there before. So that's how you can change your event tabs as well as change your template if you want something a little bit different. Now, if you're happy with the information you received on updating or adding or removing tabs from your left-hand side tab menu, great, you can end the video now. If you'd like to learn how to link a group
to your page, then stay tuned because that's the next thing I'm going to do with you. Um, if you want to link a group, you can click on the groups command or the groups tab on the left hand side. When you click on the groups tab, it's going to show you potentially show you a list of groups that um, are attached to your personal profile, your personal ID, your Facebook ID. Um, these are here because I've already set them up in the past. Yours may have a blank or empty list. If your list appears blank, what you would do is either one, create a group uh, attached to this page or link your group one that already exists but isn't linked here. So let me start with link your group. I'll click on link your group, the button. And then when I do that, it shows me that I have 13 groups that I manage and I can scroll up and down the list and I can look for the group that I wanna link and that I want visible here on my Facebook page. Having it visible on your Facebook page is a quick and easy way for people to see that you actually have a group and then to join it. So let me see, I'll scroll down this list here and I'm going to add in this 21 day gratitude challenge group that I had. I'll click on the link button and then a menu will pop up to ask me if I want to confirm that that is what I want to appear on my page. So I'll say yes, link the group and then the group name will appear. Anyone who comes to my page then and clicks on the group section or groups tab will be able to see all four of these groups that I have sitting here, residing here, can click on any one of these and be taken to the group. And if they're not a member, they could click on the join button to join that group. I'm already a member of this group, so it says leave the group. If I wasn't a member, then it would this button would be join the group. Okay, so that is how you are going to add the groups tab, and then that is how you are going to link the group to your Facebook page to make it easier and faster for your Facebook fans and followers to access the uh, VIP groups, the customer groups, the client groups, the training groups that you have. If you have a group listed there that you no longer want, then you can go to the group name, look across to the right hand side, you'll see a down arrow. You click that down arrow and you unlink the group. Okay, and that's going to unlink the group so that again, people cannot uh, find that group from your page. The other thing that you can do is you can, again, clicking on that uh, down arrow is you can pin the group so it stays at the top of your group list. It's pinned to the top. When you have added the group that you want onto your page, then what you're going to be able to see is there is an invite button and a share button. Invite button and share. The share button, when you click on it, is going to open up a fresh post, basically, with uh, going to your Facebook business page here, sharing with people uh, the link to the group and then you would put a comment in here inviting them a text comment to invite them to the group what value they would get from the group and uh, what kind of information you share and then you would hit post and that would go on by default would go on the timeline for your business page if you wanted it to go there but uh, there's a bunch of other places that you could share that as well okay so if that is sending invitations out or sharing the link um, sharing the link to your group. And the other one would be to click on the invite button and then you could individually select the people who like your business page and invite them to the group. Ideally, again, if we're thinking about a sales funnel, you have your business page and your business page, you should be funneling people in to your group. And then from your group, you might be funneling them to your website to make purchases, or perhaps they're already clients who've made purchases. And this is a support group. So you just kind of kind of repeat that cycle, providing them value and information and getting them to make uh, additional uh, purchases of your, your products or services. So that is the invite tab. So that is a quick tutorial on how you can uh, adjust 
add or remove the tabs on the left hand side and then how you can add a group that you manage a group that you want to filter your people into how you can add that group to your page i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any other questions please let me know in the comment section below i'd be happy to answer those via pm or perhaps by another video tutorial. I am Christine Hall, the online business manager and lead trainer with Christine Hall and Associates. I'd love to see you in one of my upcoming training sessions. So please check out the events tab on the left hand side to see when my next training uh, classes are coming. You'll find all the details and be able to link from those events. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you online.